Visitors to the al Wakba Camel Racetrack in Abu Dhabi may notice two significant differences from tracks elsewhere in the world. First, there is no betting allowed on the camels. And second, there are no humans allowed on the camels. The jockeys here are robots. Robots first found their way to the track more than a decade ago when the United Arab Emirates finally ended the practice of owners using young children, most of them bought or taken from Africa and Southeast Asia, to serve as jockeys. In their place are robots, though these aren't elaborate desert droids who can wash and feed a camel. These robots are made from parts you can buy in your local hardware store and can only do two things, talk to the camel and whip the camel. The typical robot body is made from a modified electric drill, a keyless entry clicker like you'd use with a car, a folded sponge to serve as the robot's head, and a plastic sheath wrapped in cotton that becomes the robot's whip. There are also customized riding silks in the owner's color of choice. With the robots in the saddle, the camels break into a run as the gate is lifted. Seconds later, a fleet of SUVs takes off after them with each camel's owner riding in the passenger seat so he can see his animal on the move. A well-placed walkie-talkie on the robot allows the owners to talk to the camel and press their clickers to activate the whips as the camels race toward the finish. Afterward, the camels who finish first, second, and third receive the traditional honor of having their necks coated in a fragrant saffron glaze before everyone, robots included, heads home. From the Al-Wakba racetrack in Abu Dhabi, I'm Sam Borden.